Assalamualaikum Sayyidina, it's a pleasure to have you on the channel. Welcome, Welcome to Bayat Al Ghadir. Would you like to introduce yourself for the viewers that don't know who you are? Yeah, so I'm Sayyid Ali Shubairi. I've uh, been involved in some uh, Shia propagation work, alhamdulillah, in the past. Uh, half Iranian, half Scottish, and uh, I came to see the movie today and I bumped into many of these brothers and saw that they were here. So, alhamdulillah, it's a good turnout so far. Are you excited to watch the movie? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of. Uh, controversy surrounding this movie and there's been a lot of planning because I knew about the movie five years ago so raised, raised some funds for it and of course in the beginning they had some trouble when they were making it but finally the movie got made and of course a pirated version came out but a lot of us had to be patient because we said if we want to give a fair judgment of the movie we need to watch the movie in HD in high quality so that's what I've come to do today give a fair judgment and see how the movie is. What are your thoughts on people using the movie to um, claim that it's leading to sectarian tensions? Well, I think, unfortunately, a lot of people, they have their own agenda. You know, we saw there were protests in Bradford mm -hmm. and trying to get cinemas to take the movie out. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of lies about it, for example, that there's racism in the movie, whereas we see good characters are portrayed as black individuals, as well as the bad characters. Mm -hmm. Also, there's been false rumours that there's an actor that's playing, playing the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As we know, it's CGI. Mm -hmm. So I think about the sectarian tensions, I think it's just an excuse because obviously this is discussing a Shia historical narrative. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do with this movie, and I think the makers wanted to provoke discussion and maybe un unravel some ideas which have not been exposed to the mainstream Muslims. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it will cause sectarian tensions. I think this is just an excuse for people to try boycott okay. the movie and not get the message out there. Yeah. What's your opinion on the religious figures themselves shown in the movie? So in terms of the CGI, obviously there's a difference of opinion. A lot of the Shia scholars, they say, as long as it's not a type of hat like mocking or disrespect, then it is permissible. But a lot of Shias have to remember they themselves have, you know, purchased, let's say, imaginary pictures, drawings of the Imams, and they never objected to them. So from the Shia side, when some of them objected to this, I believe it's not being just about that because you have to be consistent. So obviously when I Fatima to Zahra, she's not showing in the face. And it is CGI because, yeah, of course, we don't want an actor playing the prophet and then this actor will go to a movie drinking alcohol. So, of course, it's done by CGI, so no one can claim that it's a real character portraying them. But of course, it, this is a fiqh issue, obviously. You have to go back to what the ulama say about it. For example, Sayyid Sistani, one of the most widely followed Shia clerics, said there's not a problem as long as there's no type of mockery or disrespect. So this isn't for lay people to just make their opinion. Go back to the ulama on that issue. It's a fiqh issue. That's a really good summary and inshallah we will speak to you after the movie. Inshallah. Thank you for your time Sayyid. Yeah, thank you brothers. And we'll speak to you soon. Um, so you've watched the movie now, The Lady of Heaven. Your thoughts? Yeah, so uh, obviously I was waiting a long time to see this. And overall, uh, I like the movie. I've seen some very harsh criticism of it. I've seen some people say it's just perfect. But what I'd say is that um, we should all know it's quite hard to put all of these historical events within, let's say, is it two hours, 12 minutes, or two hours and 20 minutes? It was somewhere so, between that, yeah. Yeah, somewhere between this time. So I think it got a lot of the um, main events in. There are some things people say were missed out, but overall I liked it, and I think uh, as an introduction to provoke thought and get non-Muslims to look into it more would be something for everyone to see. Okay. Do you think the format would have worked better as a series? No, I believe the movie format, if you want to aim it towards Shia, mm -hmm. then of course, if people are willing to fund something like this, mm -hmm. continue on from the movie or make a series, whatever, that would be good. But I think for the, the non-Muslims, the movie is better because if you've got like 10 episodes, 20 episodes, we could make a series, maybe 50 episodes, people are not going to watch it. So it was obviously uh, probably a struggle for them to put all of this in and maybe they had to cut scenes, we'll probably see in the behind the scenes if they make a documentary, which I heard they're making, but no, a movie would be a better choice, definitely. Okay. Well, it was a better that's, choice. I think uh, that's quite positive. Um, did you see, this is the controversial part now, did you see any form of racism present in the movie? Because this is quite a hot topic at the moment as well as you've seen on social media. Yeah. So, your take? Yeah, no, as, as I said before, I believe people are using this as an excuse. I didn't see any racism. Um, you do see Fiddler, you see Bilal, and you mm -hmm. see positive characters who are portrayed as black as well. Mm -hmm. And you even see bad uh, characters which are light-skinned. Had all of the bad characters been dark-skinned, or let's mm -hmm. say, 
black complexion, then someone could have a case for it. Mm -hmm. But this is obviously just a lie or something people pushing forward to boycott the film. So I don't believe I saw any racism, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Would you be in support of a sequel to this movie? And if so, what would you, um, if you had a choice, what would you choose to, for it to be focused on? So that's, that's a hard one, because even me myself, I wouldn't have minded if it was four hours. Obviously, you can't make a film like that people walk out. But yeah, um, maybe how did Imam Ali, alayhi salam, after Fatima Tazaha, she died, it would be good to show how did he handle the situations mm -hmm. and living around, for example, these hypocrites such as Abu Bakr and Omar shown in the film. Mm -hmm. So that would be probably good that how did he deal with this. And of course, how Aisha turned against him, had a war against him, how his, he had wars with Ma'awi. There's so much stuff we could mention, which there could be a type of a sequel. But first we need to see how do people respond to this and what did the non-Muslims understand uh, from the movie. Okay. Thanks very much for your time today, Sayyid. Actually, I think it would be good, good to just mention which scenes kind of stood out. Sure. I think this is important. So one scene, and I believe the movie itself, there's scenes that made myself emotional, many other brothers. But one scene that stood out was when Imam Ali, alayhi salam, he was tending to the Prophet. Mm -hmm. And you see that, you know, the person comes and tells him, you know, they're all just running after the leadership. Mm -hmm. This was something strong there as you felt a strong sense of betrayal towards Imam Ali, alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. And then to see Hadith al-Kisar, personified, it was another level. Yes. So, you know, we read all, all of this in the hadith, but when actually seeing it on the screen, it, it gave me a spiritual feeling, I can definitely say that. And in terms of just uh, things that could have been better, obviously the door incident was there. I believe it could have been made quicker, as according to the hadith where Imam Ali comes straight away. But I believe as a movie, they were trying to show emphasis on what happened. So I believe that could have been improved. And of course, just one uh, criticism I would say is that more emphasis to who the characters were for non-Muslims because we have some background knowledge, we could tell it but I think they should have mentioned names a bit more just to clarify who these characters are that could have been done better in the movie but overall, I like it, yeah Thank you very much for your time on that, Sayyid